Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jen's Junk. My name is Jen. For those of you who have watched my videos before, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And for those of you who are just tuning in, thanks for giving this video a look. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit different from my usual hauls and everything showing my collection. Today I thought I would just take the time to talk about Star Wars, getting to know my audience, getting to know you guys, getting to know me. And I've been seeing the Disney Halloween tag going around the Disney YouTube community. And I thought that I could take that and kind of make it more Star Wars. And so I've got some questions and I have actually done this on Twitter a few times and it's interesting to see if my answers stay the same and if they change. Um, so I thought I would kind of bring that here to YouTube and, and just kind of have this tag going around. Um, so it's open to anybody who wants to do it. I'm new to the YouTube community, community so I don't really know a lot of YouTubers um, or Star Wars YouTubers in general. So it's kind of open for anyone who would like to do it. If you're a Star Wars fan or if you're not a Star Wars fan, um, it's, you know, it's, it's open to everybody. So we're gonna get started. And the first question is, what is your favorite trilogy from the Star Wars saga? Now, I am gonna keep my answers strictly to the Star Wars movies. I'm not gonna include any of the TV shows. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit different. So for number one, the, my favorite trilogy has got to be the original trilogy. Um, and that includes A New Hope, which is episode four, The Empire Strikes Back, which is episode five, and then Return of the Jedi, which is episode six. So that is my childhood. I was too young to really see A New Hope or The Empire Strikes Back in the movie theater. So I remember seeing those films on HBO when they came out. I do have vivid memories, however, of seeing Return of the Jedi in the theater at least two or three times um, because I was old enough then to go to the theater and understand what was going on in the movies. So I do have to say the original, tri original trilogy is my all time favorite. And out of them, I would say A New Hope is my favorite movie out of the entire Star Wars saga. Um, it just, uh, you know, it just has a positive ending, an uplifting ending. It could stand alone. You get to meet all these great new characters and it is my comfort movie. And I could literally watch A New Hope on repeat for the entire day. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I'm going with um, the orig original trilogy and as a bonus, A New Hope is my favorite Star Wars movie out of the entire saga. Um, the second question is um, favorite couple. Um, this is also an easy question for me to answer. I am going to go with the OG Han Solo and Princess Leia. Opposites attract, right? Um, something about them in the original trilogy that just is so... Um, heartwarming and endearing of these two polar opposite people from um, very different backgrounds coming together. And I just love that, love that idea. They were the odd couple, um, both very stubborn, <laughs> hard-headed, but very hardworking. Um, and I, I, yeah, I've got to go with Han and Leia. Just, I, I love those two so much. So, um, so my favorite Star Wars couple. All right, number three, my favorite character from the original trilogy. Um, this one will change sometimes depending on my mood. 
Um, but however, right now, my favorite is Princess Leia. And you all know that. I've said that several times in my videos. I just love Princess Leia. Carrie Fisher, so she was just so awesome. I mean, she just, she was Princess Leia and Princess Leia was Carrie Fisher, <laughs> like she used to say. Um, Princess Leia is so, she's so inspiring. She is loyal, she is intelligent, she is sassy, she is a leader, she is inspiring, she is hope. She's just such a great role model for women and girls in general. And so I just always loved her character and I still love her character today. And I think she is right now my favorite out of the original trilogy because she's just so mm, not your typical princess. And I love that, that she's not the damsel in distress. I love that idea. So number four, my favorite character from the prequels. So this I had to think a little bit more on. Um, the prequels have grown on me over the years. Am I a huge fan of the prequels? Eh, not really, because like I've said, the original trilogy is my favorite, and I get very excited about that. But the, you know, the prequels, they have, they're part of the overall story, so I'm able to appreciate them themselves. So if I had to pick a favorite character from the prequels, Oh gosh, it would have to be, it's gotta be young Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. I thought he did a phenomenal job as the younger Obi-Wan and um, was a very exciting character. Um, we all knew him in the, from the original trilogy, but being the elder wise man the mentor to, to luke skywalker and so it was really exciting to get to see a younger obi-wan kenobi and what his training was like and his evolution through his training to become a jedi master and so i would really have to say that in the prequels my favorite character is obi-wan kenobi so um, all right, next question, number five, my favorite character from the sequels. Um, this one I had to think a little bit harder on as well. Um, so again, this one depends on my mood, <laughs> how I'm feeling. Um, in the sequels, I would have to say that my favorite character, um, is probably Kylo Ren Ben Solo. Um, and I've struggled over this answer and that answer has actually changed from my original on Twitter. And seeing the whole complete um, ending of the sequels, if you will, episode seven, eight, and nine, um, you really get to see his arc and then his redemption at the end. And I really love that redemption story of his. And Adam Driver is such a fantastic actor. And I really think he brought Kylo Ren and Ben Solo to life. And I really can't imagine another actor portraying that role. Because I think he did such a fantastic job. Especially in The Rise of Skywalker, the last one. I was very impressed and that kind of, his role in that movie changed my mind about his character in general. And I think Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo is my, my favorite new character from, from the sequels. So, um, okay, so going on to question number six, my favorite trio. This is an easy question once again. It's got to go with the OG, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker. I don't think there really is a better trio. Sorry, prequel fans and sequel fans, but I'm going with OG on this. It's just... Yeah, maybe a lot of it's nostalgic, but um, 
you, you, yeah, yeah. Got to go with Luke Hunt and Leia, the original. Let's just let's just say that. All right, number seven, favorite friendship in the Star Wars movies. And again, I'm staying with the movies. I'm not going into the um, TV series for this one. My favorite friendship has probably still have to be the friendship between Han Solo and Chewbacca. And um, when we got Solo, a Star Wars story out, um, we got to look how they met. I know I was really excited um, to see the how the, those beginnings happened, how they met, how they formed a friendship. And so I was really excited to see those things happen in Solo. And just over the films in general, you have this Wookiee and Han Solo, again, the odd couple working together and, and showing that loyalty that I just love. Their loyalty is so strong to one another and they, they're in it 100%. So my favorite friendship has got to be Han Solo and Chewbacca, definitely, definitely. All right, the next question is number eight, um, favorite droid. Again, this is an easy one for me to answer. I am going to go with R2-D2. Who does not love R2-D2? I mean, he's just so awesome. Plus, he's smart. He's sassy, he's funny, and he saves everybody <laughs> in every single movie. I mean, that droid can do anything. So I gotta go with R2-D2. He's been in every single movie in the entire Skywalker saga. And you have to wonder what R2-D2 thinks, having gone through all of this. <laughs> it's just... It's amazing. Anyway, anyway, R2-D2, I just love him. He, and he's so cute with the little beep. So he is my favorite droid. All right, question number nine. All right, who would be my Jedi Master? Now, if you keep wondering why I look over here, it's because I have the questions written down. <laughs> That's why I keep looking over here. Um, so who would be my Jedi Master? This is a little trickier one because the question isn't who you would want to be your Jedi Master, but who would be your Jedi Master. And a, a, like right away, I wanna say Luke Skywalker because I love Luke Skywalker and his character, but sometimes he just doesn't have the patience. <laughs> and I would need somebody who has a lot of patience. So with this one, I'm gonna go with Qui-Gon Jinn um, from The Phantom Menace. Um, I think he would be a very calm, collected, logical, um, forgiving Jedi mentor. Uh, and that is probably what I would need <laughs> if I were training to be a Jedi, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm gonna go with Qui-Gon Jinn because of his, his calmness, his patience, um, and his empathy to his empathy. So, all right, number 10, my favorite lightsaber color. For a long time, it was green. It was green. Um, I have changed my mind on this. I am gonna go with yellow. Um, Ray's lightsaber at the end of Rise of Skywalker is yellow, and I love yellow. I love that color. I love the concept. Um, and I, I did love her evolution, her story. And so I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with yellow with my favorite color of, of lightsaber. So I changed my mind on that one. That's one of the ones that I changed my mind. Um, okay. Question 11, light side or dark side? Definitely light side for me. Definitely light side for me. Um, dark side is cool to kind of to, to kind of watch and yeah, but th that's just not me, not my personality. Um, light side for sure on the side of Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I'm going with the Rebels. <laughs> All right, number twelve, the most overrated character. 
This is also another question that has actually changed, or my answer has changed um, since I originally did this on Twitter. Um, at first, I thought Kylo Ren was the most overrated character. Um, I've changed my mind um, since I've seen the entire um, saga now. And uh, I would have to say the most overrated character, in my opinion, would be Snoke. Um, you heard a lot about Snoke in The Force Awakens, and then all of a sudden, Kylo Ren kills him in The Last Jedi. All of a sudden, he's gone. And Snoke is built up, built up to be this huge evil presence, like almost Darth Vader was in the, in the original trilogy. And all of a sudden, he just bites the dust in the second and the second one. So to me, I thought his character was kind of overrated. So sorry, Snoke fans, but that's what I'm going with. Um, all right, number 13, the most underrated character. Ooh, this is, this is a tricky one. Um, the most underrated character. I think I'm gonna have to go with Wedge. Um, he is in the original trilogy and he is in, um, the Rise of Skywalker. You see Wedge, uh, during the battle, the final battle there. Um, so I'm going to go with Wedge Antilles. Um, he, he just seems like a cool character. Um, obviously he is loyal to the Alliance, to the Rebels. Um, he is... Um, it just seems like a real cool character. I mean, I don't really know his backstory, so I would be interested in learning more about his backstory. Um, but you could definitely expound a lot on his character, I think. So I think he's the most underrated character. If I were to pick a character that I would have liked to see more of, I probably would have said Wedge in, in the original the original trilogy. So, All right, um, number 14, my favorite ship. Um, it's got to be the Millennium Falcon because it's so iconic and who doesn't love the Millennium Falcon? I mean, who wouldn't want a chance to sit on board or pilot the Millennium Falcon? It's just so iconic. I mean, the ship is just like, amazing. It's just amazing. So I'm going to go with that as my favorite ship. Um, number 15, the saddest death. Oh, this is, this is a tough one. This is a very tough one. I've had to think about this one for quite a bit. Um, the saddest death, I actually, I'm going with two. I don't know if I could, well, I could probably choose between the two, but, um, runner up to this, to my number one has got to be the entire crew of Rogue One. I cried so much through that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. The movie is so well done, but the fact that they all died at the end, uh, yeah, I cried for most of that movie. So I would have to say close runner up would be um, Rogue One, okay? Um, the saddest death number one for me has got to be um, Princess Leia. And I think that correlates with the passing of Carrie Fisher. I think that made it a more, uh, more emotional for me because I just loved her character too. And I loved Carrie Fisher. And for her to, to die in A Rise of Skywalker, um, I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> I, yeah. So I would have to go with Princess Leia on this and um, the Rogue One crew um, at my number two. So last question, number 16, my favorite cast member. Oh, this is a tough one because I do love all of the cast um, in the movies. Um, I had the wonderful privilege of actually meeting um, Hayden, Hayden Christensen um, from the prequels at Celebration Chicago last year. So that was really, really, really cool. That was kind of a birth early birthday present from my brother um, because uh, I think he felt bad. I was really hoping that Mark Hamill was going to be there and he wasn't, unfortunately. And so I think my brother felt sorry for me and he <laughs> paid so that I could meet Hayden Christensen. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that was really cool. Um, but my favorite cast member, um, I would say Carrie Fisher, because I think she was just an awesome person. Um, but uh, if we were choosing from from those who are living right now, I would have to say Mark Hamill because Luke Skywalker is one of my favorite characters and I just love Mark Hamill. If you've been on his Twitter, um, he's such a bright light. He's such a ray of sunshine. He's just so funny and um, I would love to meet him. Um, he, that's on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love, love to meet Mark Hamill. So I'm going to go with Mark Hamill as my favorite cast member. And he tells great stories um, about the original trilogies. And I just think he's such an interesting guy. And um, he, is, he, he probably has a million, million stories to tell. Um, and, uh, and plus, he's so positive on Twitter and, and humorous. And so I'm going to go with um, Mark Hamill as my favorite my favorite cast member so with that so those were the questions for the star wars tag and again i tag everyone whoever would like to do this um i tag you i will go ahead and put the questions below in the comments if for anyone who would like to do that um, and again i have done this on twitter a couple times and my answers kind of change and evolve sometimes and there's some that always stay the same so it's interesting to see um, what changes and what doesn't um, from every so often. And again, it depends on my mood. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you supporting this channel. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing as well. If you are up for some more fun Star Wars stuff, um, please consider following me on Twitter and on Instagram. That information I will leave below in the comments and it's also on my about page as well. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I'm interested in knowing what your answers will be for this tag and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye guys!